I'm going to show you how to create a watermark for all of your videos like the one you see here on screen using nothing more than LumaFusion. Let's get into it. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Open LumaFusion and go to the project manager. Tap on the plus sign to create a new project. Tap once in the project name field. Give your project a descriptive name. The name I put here will be used as the YouTube video title by default when I upload this video to YouTube. Don't worry, you can change it later. I'm going to call this project Watermark 2020. Once you're done typing, dismiss the keyboard by tapping the key in the bottom right hand corner. Then review all the other project settings and change them as needed. They're okay, so I'm going to tap on the icon in the upper right hand corner of this dialog box. The idea for this video was inspired by Tammy Sibniewski, another YouTuber I watch frequently because of her great tutorials on how to use LumaFusion. I'll leave a link to her video in the description below. When this video is over, feel free to go and check it out. You can design your personal watermark using titles like the one you see here. In the upper left hand corner, tap the icon and select Titles. Using these titles will help you avoid copyright issues. Select a title you want to use and bring it down into the main timeline. Double tap the blue bar to open the clip editor. There are three text boxes and two shape graphics that you can modify in this template. Tap on a text box or graphic to open its properties and begin making changes. Double tap this text box to add your own text. I'll type video by in this text box. When I'm done typing, I'll tap done. I don't like the color, so I'm going to change it. I'll open the properties for this text box once more. Swipe down and choose face color. Tap on the color and enter the hex code for the color that I want to use into the text box. That's the color I'm going to use. Next, I'll select the yellow bar and do the same thing. I'm not a graphic designer, so these templates really help me out. I'll tap this text box and enter my name. The text box below that will contain my email address. I know that my email address is too big and does not fit on the screen. Don't worry about that. You can change that later using the size slider for this text box. Just pull it to the left a little bit. And there you can see my email address fits. That looks okay. Remember that watermarks usually appear in the corner of all videos. So I need to shrink this down to a smaller size. Any font you use should be able to be read when you shrink down the graphic. If you can't read it, don't use it. Double tap on your clip to open the clip editor once more. You can do this as many times as you need to. You can go back and adjust the size of any text box or shape by simply tapping on it. That looks great. Tap the arrow in the upper left hand corner to go back to your project. And there's my watermark graphic. Now I need to save it and shrink it down. While editing another video, I noticed that I couldn't read my email address. So I'm going to tap on the text box and change the font to make it easier to read. I'll use the same font as my name, which is Avenir Next Heavy. I'll tap on the font property underneath my email address. and choose Avenir Next. If you don't see Avenir Next Heavy, tap on the arrow and it will become visible. Just tap on it once you see it. That looks better. I also noticed another problem. There's a space in between my name and the at symbol in my email address. So I'm gonna double tap the text, long press on the spacebar, move the cursor to that position and delete the space to make my email address correct. That looks better. 
Now I'll tap on the arrow in the upper left hand corner to go back to the project. When you've designed your watermark and you're happy with it, you need to save it. So I'm going to tap on the export icon and choose snapshot. This will create a photo. Now it's time to add the watermark to a video. Open a new project. Find the photo you just saved and drop it on top of your main video track. Then double tap on it to open the clip editor. Using the size and position controls inside frame and fit, resize and position the photo to act as your watermark. That looks good. Next, swipe down and tap on blending. This will make the watermark appear faded. Bring the opacity down to about 50%. This watermark will appear in each one of my future videos, identifying it as mine. Next, go back to the main project. Duplicate that track. And place it over top of your entire video, except for the clips where you don't want it to appear, such as my intro. If the watermark sits on top of another screen, like here, you may need to add a preset. I have a preset called Black Screen Key. This takes away the black box around the graphic as you can see. To continue adding the watermark, just tap on the duplicate button and make manual adjustments where necessary. I've sped up this process to save time. I need to make a manual adjustment right next to this transition. I can duplicate the clip one more time and then move it to the other side of the transition and continue duplicating this watermark to the end of the video. Swipe left once in a while to make sure that your video tracks line up properly. If you make a mistake, just hit the undo button. Duplicate the clip until you reach the end of your video. Once you do, hit the split icon and delete the extra portion of your clip. The end should match up like this. If you'd like to see how I made my black screen key preset, drop a comment below and I'll make the video.